as you rub the sleep from your woman. Wake up, honey. Like all languages, chemistry, in, if you want to call it that, and I do, can be tough to learn at first, but once you get, uh... So I don't expect you to walk out of this video spouting off about 3-keto-2-carboxyl arabinitol, but I do want you to get a... Uh, <laughs> so I don't expect you to walk out of this video spouting off about 3-keto-2... And lots of use, so I don't expect you to walk out of this video spouting off about 3-keto-2... So I don't expect you to walk out of here spouting off about 3-keto-2-carboxylarabinadol. <laughs> the enthalpy change for a reaction is equal to the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of the products minus the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of the reactants. I understand this, and it makes sense. I just, I just, it's a lot of words. The reaction is between iron powder, which is in here, and oxygen, which is... <laughs> you know. And fortunately for chemistry, and there's a kind of phrase, drunk. And the ones we'll mostly be talking about today, I, uh, that's just, it's, it's, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Whereas ones that gain electrons have to ne have, have little. No, no, not Herman Hess, the gaunt, balding, swith, swith? No, not Herman Hess, the gaunt, balding, swith. <laughs> Sherma Hess, the gaunt, balding, swith, uh, I said swith again. I said swith again. Shower in a room full of people who I don't like, all while trying to build your first real... Ah, uh, I, got, I got confused. That was fun, though. Where orthodontics have a curfew, live on an allowance. What is happening over here? Shower in a room full of people that they don't like, all while trying to build your first real lasting friendships and sex. The most basic ions, called monatomic ions, are formed from a single atoms. To write one as a formula, you just have... Oh. But the names of these ions change somewhat, depending on where they're there. But the names of these ions change somewhat... change somewhat. Now when we name ionic compounds... PV equals NRT, pervnert. Is that it can be understood theoretically. There is no light coming out of that. What the f but here's a wrinkle. Many elements can form more than one kind of ion. Iron, for example, iron, iron, iron ion, the iron iron, the iron ion, iron iron. <laughs> but they can have either a charge of either two. But it's in this middle region of your language map where really unique dialects start to crop up, changing how ions are named and written. Let's do that again. That was weird. Not quite enough energy for you? Mm -hmm. In order to study this stuff carefully, he looked at the standard enthalpies of formation of the reactants and the products of the reaction. Nope. What? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's just a set of criteria that chemists can be all... And it was Dutch scientist Johan Diederik van der Waals, and no, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that in Dutch because I don't speak it. And he was the one who figured out some tricks. He worked hard and in time went from a print... Whoa. Thousand kilograms. Mm. Mm. Okay, I don't know how to make it stop doing that. And it helps us out in a lot of our calcul... Did you just do it uh, close? I just told you, do not disturb. Mm. No, sounds like the best. Mm. Oh, fuck. quiet on the set, can't phone. <laughs> Propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels tried to make them name it the Hitler, but they refused, thankfully. Yeah. I don't know. I just... <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> yup, Roman numerals. <laughs> Now acids are ionic compounds just like any other, but when they ionize their hydrogen ions, just lone protons, what? <laughs> Using those numbers, we find that the new pressure is 102.882. See, at that time, scientists only knew how to answer the behave. Ansel? It starts to deviate from what the ideal gas law predicts. Brrr. 
Writing the formula of an acid is easy. <laughs> Once you acquire the ear for it, though, you can tell just from the name of an acid or its anion what its composition is. <laughs> That's right, even though it's acid. <laughs> It is identified by its con by its content of oxygen by the con by its the um, by its content of by its oxygen content. There, got it. You might know that as the chlorate ion. That's chlorate with an eight, not a number eight. A T E, which is called chloric acid. That's chloric with an I C. Bang. Sick boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I quoted Monty Python. Nixa uh, is let loose. You can't control him now. What are you doing in England? They can also form other, many other, several other, a few other acids, which we know as the chlor. <laughs> <laughs> With us acids, and indeed all that with atoms that ions ask us. So if that's the case, get a pencil ready and pause the video now. Copy this, not now, because you can't hear my instructions. Gas. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Let us get this party started right. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. The English teacher, wait, the science teacher from, <laughs> I mean, sorry, the science teacher from England. Oh, I get, I get the joke now. As he mixed the gases, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Uh. And when they start to go bad, they release it. Nope. One key to understanding the behavior of a gas is its velocity. That is, this is. You find the velocity, or speed, by dividing the distance that it traveled by the time it took to do it, and that's the... Like the rotten egg smelling... smell. We shall put the energy it contains in... Because this heavy thing here, which is full of pennies, oh god. <laughs> I unhooked it. <laughs> that was dangerous. Work is... what are you? What? Why? Go away. Bye. Thank you. No, away. Away, go away. Go away. Go away. Can you see it in the camera? Or am I just like... <laughs> Instead, heat, just like work, is an energy... Um, uh. Internal energy is represented by the letter E. And most of the time we're interested, we're... Enthalpy is technically the internal of an... En and for that, we need to thank good old Sherman. <laughs>